you don't have to get any artistic uh, excitement out of this. I don't expect anyone to do it. Loathsome Dis 101, if anyone wants to learn Intuitive Dis 101, seek the company of a female. And I don't really mean a relationship or anything. Talk to your mother, talk to your sister, talk to just a co-worker, uh, whatever. Talk to your daughter, even. Um, just find out how they tick. This uh, video is aimed at men. Or don't want to do that, or whatever reason, it's not an option. Um, just as sort of a experiment, if you uh, have a lunchroom uh, where you work, or if you have access to where a large number of people gather to eat, there's always a set of very sort of ridiculously feminine women who talk about feminine things. Eavesdrop on their lunchtime conversation. Um, just listen to what gets discussed. I don't mean the overt actions. I don't mean the overt things that they talk about, the overt things which might strike a guy as completely irrelevant. I mean, what is it, ultimately, that they're talking about? To guys, often it seems like just a pile of crazy, nonsensical, unrelated things. To a lot of women, I, there are men like this, but to a lot of women, feelings are real, tangible things. Experiences, qualia, I suppose you'd call them, are real. They are as concrete and as real as physics are to the more logical, rational type of person. Now, you can sort of say, okay, well, what does that prove? That um, one could say that I'm making a case for women actually being dumb. <laughs> um, it's experience. It's the intuitive part of the human experience. That is half of us. And, as I mentioned before, even the ancient Greeks admitted, you have to cater to that half. You, it's it's an, an absolute essential that that half be fed, or the cosmos trembles, or there is a big problem. Overdo it on the rational, and you've got no value. Literally, no value. When you start saying, well, look what science has produced, it's produced nothing of value. Zero. Nothing at all of value at all. But if you actually listen carefully with a certain mindset, what you'll notice is just a pile of crazy, nonsensical things. You may have to hold your nose, but just sort of analyze the whole phenomenon. What is it that motivates this person? What is it that makes that person tick? Keeping up with the Kardashians, personal favorite of mine, the only lingam of Hinduism. Just, uh, again, take your enormous part and just loosen a bimbo blonde or your desperate housewife, something like this, um, sexually over-the-top redhead or whatever. And it, it doesn't even have to be men and women. Turn on... I think we know what happens when you overdo it. Thank you. Think about that.